Welcome. This video shows how to perform a complete installation of Syncplify Me Server version 4 from scratch. The installer automatically installs all prerequisites, like MongoDB, if they are not found on your system. Once all prerequisites are installed, the main setup program will automatically start. Make sure you select the installation path, the setup type, and accept the license agreement. The installer has now enough information to install Syncplify Me server on your computer or virtual machine. Once all files have been copied to your computer, the second part of the installer will run. For the sake of completeness of information, here we show the advanced setup procedure. First of all you have to connect to your MongoDB, unless this is a high availability deployment you can probably leave these settings unchanged. Next you have to set your super admin password. This password must be at least 8 characters long, or the installer will not allow you to continue. Next we're going to install an X509 certificate for the REST service. We already own one, so we'll be using the one we have. Since IIS is not running any HTTPS websites on this machine, we can leave the REST server bindings unchanged and use port 443. On machines where IIS is running HTTPS websites it is highly recommended to choose a different port. Next, we select which disks or folders the server is allowed to use as roots for all of its virtual servers. Let's remove D which is a CD-ROM. The installer is now ready to apply all the necessary initial configurations. Done. We can now simply click on the provided link to connect as super admin and create our first virtual server. Since we are connecting on localhost, the certificate name doesn't match the address in the browser, but it's ok, we can safely allow this exception. Now we can log in using the super admin password we have just created a moment ago. Let's proceed and create our first SFTP and FTPS virtual server. Once again we choose the advanced setup to show every option. First of all we have to select the database server. In our case it's the same we used during the initial installation. Then we need to give this virtual server a name and a friendly name. The name must be all lowercase and cannot contain spaces. The friendly name instead is a free text field. Now it's time to create an administrative profile that will be allowed to manage this specific virtual server. At this point we let the wizard optimize this virtual server by declaring its intended use. We may also set optional limits on the maximum number of users and how many of them should be allowed to connect simultaneously. The latter is always limited to one in the free edition of the software. Since this is our first virtual server, there are no binding conflicts, therefore we can keep the default values. Now it's time to choose the disks and folders that this virtual server is allowed to use. This must be a subset of the selection made during the initial setup. Once done, your virtual server will be created. This process usually takes 10 to 15 seconds, but may take longer on slower machines. Success! There's our first SFTP and FTPS virtual server, along with its node configuration and specific administrative profiles. Now we can log out of the super admin interface and log into our newly created virtual server as admin. The URL to connect to a specific virtual server is go-the name of the virtual server. So in this case it's go-default. Let's log in as admin with the password the super admin has previously set for us. We are in. This is the dashboard. Now let's create our first VFS and our first user. First we need to create a virtual file system, which will then be used as home directory for the user that we will create later. Now let's go and create our first user profile. Its home directory will be the VFS that we have just created. During the user profile creation process we can set its password as well as several other basic aspects, like permissions and allowed protocols. Success. 
our first user profile is created and can already connect via SFTP and FTPS to our new virtual server. Thank you for watching, now please visit our website at syncplify.me.